Hey, if you're attending an event on Virtly, I'm going to show you the five most important things that you need to know to have the best experience for you. So when you're invited to an event, your organizer will send you the link to this overview page where you get the information and some background about the event. To join the event, so a couple of minutes or hours before the event, there will be this button to join the event now. So if you click on it, you have three options. Sign in with your Google account if you have one, with an email, or if you just want to jump in directly, you can sign in as a guest. So if you click sign in as a guest, and if the organizer asks for an access code, and if he has protected it with a password, he will share that password with you to enter it, and then you click submit, and then you can um, enter all the information you want to provide about yourself. So what is required, as you can see here with the little star, it's only the first name. So only with the first name, you can basically join an event and you don't need to provide anything else. But you have much more options, for example, to add your last name, uh, your email if you want, and um, also change your profile picture to upload it if you want. Furthermore, your social media handles, your location, and interests and hobbies. So I'm interested in startups. Let me just add this startup uh, interest. And then you can click Update Profile. Once you click this one, you will enter directly into the event in the lobby. That's the space for what you can see here now. The lobby is basically there giving you some more information about the event again. The most important stage for you at the beginning will be most likely the main stage. So you can simply click here on the left-hand side and say enter main stage, or directly in the lobby, you have also the button to enter the main stage. So in this case, the main stage, we will show a video. Um, it's a live stream, you can imagine. Then you have on the left-hand side, you can always have the overview of all the attendees on the main stage. You can toggle it to make it large and small. If the event organizer provides you also some breakout rooms, breakout sessions, or sponsor booth, you can join them by clicking on the room section if it's available for you. Click on it. Here you see a sponsor booth. You can join it. And that way you will directly enter into a uh, uh, into a booth. And here the organizer has chosen to share a video with you. And in the virtual demo uh, room, you will see that you will join as with the video call. So you enter it, you see direct the video call will start. Furthermore, you're in a networking session, you can see who's available. For example, you can click here. I can see now that Joao is available. Available. I can see his LinkedIn profile, Twitter, his interests. And if I want, I can directly start a conversation with him. So let's do it. I'll click on his profile, say start a conversation. And as you can see, we are directly jumping into a video conference call. Hi, Joao. Hey, Alex. Um, you can share your screen, raise your hand. You can also have a personal chat in here. Or um, if the wrong video device is selected, you can choose your camera or microphone settings here. And by Joao, I'm leaving again. So to hang up and leave the conversation, you can either click here, leave, or say here, leave this conversation on the left-hand side, leave this call. And if you can't decide on who, whom to talk to, you can also uh, either click start a conversation in, and this will randomly select anyone who is currently available. In this case, there are only two, so it always selects uh, either Joao or Elon Musk, or you can filter them based on the interests, let's say entrepreneurship, and Joao has this interest, so you can see that he's currently available as well and to start a conversation. Furthermore, you have all the attendees. You can have a chat, so you can send here some messages um, with other attendees and some other functionalities. Something you need to know that is really important, if you haven't updated your profile at the beginning, like I have done now, you can only see the first name and my one interest. If you want to update it later, you can click on your profile on the top right and say edit profile. And here you can then further enhance your profile and update whatever you want to add. You can say here, I'm living in Zurich, Switzerland. Um, and can say update your profile, and then people will basically see uh, it directly. So that way you can later enhance your profile. One really important part in the networking session, once you enter the event, you will be directly available in the networking area.
if you don't want that, if you don't want that people can click you, can connect with you, you can select this toggle here to say available to move it to do not disturb. And if you do that, this person, the other persons can't see you and they cannot start a conversation with you. So that's the most important things that you need to know. Check out the main stage, the rooms if they're available to you, as well as the networking area to really connect and build connections with other people and make sure your profile is updated. If you have issues to join the event, make sure you're using one of the supported browsers, ideally Chrome or Firefox, or also the, micro, the new um, Edge browser um, from Microsoft. And once you are entering the event and the conversation, make sure you allow your browser access to the phone and the camera. Make sure you have done those settings and then you should be all set to have a great and fantastic event to build great relationships with other attendees.